Yeah, there is this lovely news um, yesterday that uh, Zara and Mike Tyndall are expecting their third child together. Now, it wasn't announced in a new, normal way. Normally, you'd have a statement by Buckingham Palace, quite a formal one. But actually, Mike chose to let the news slip on a podcast about rugby he co-hosts. And there was actually a very specific reason for doing that, because... Um, Poor Zara has suffered two miscarriages in between having their other two daughters, Mia and Lena. And I think they just wanted to be a little bit more low key about it now. And, you know, fingers crossed everything goes well for them. Now, obviously, the Queen will be pleased as she's very close to Zara. But what do you think she will make of the name that Mike Tyndall has suggested? Yeah, Mike was joking on the uh, podcast with his co-hosts about what they might call the baby. And they said maybe because it was conceived in lockdown, they should have a name like Covey. Uh, <laughs> I, I hope he was joking about that. Although they have, you know, some of the, the daughters' names are a bit different, Mia and Lena. So maybe never say never. I don't know. It's Rebecca. Victoria, let's start with the babies first. Why not? The palace must be thrilled at some positive news. Yeah, it's really lovely. Um, and obviously we've got usually now as well who's pregnant, so two um, great-grandchildren for the Queen next year. Um, it's lovely news and obviously, as Rebecca said, you know, um, Zara and Mike have um, had those two miscarriages and that was challenging and so to be having a third child, interesting that they are going for three. Obviously the Cambridges have three as well. Um, those two families are pretty close uh, from what we see. Um, William is, we think, God father to Mia and of course we know that Zara is uh, godmother to Prince George and we've seen those families kind of um, together quite a lot socialising so definitely um, you know really nice that, that they're expanding their family I don't think anyone would, would say anything other than it's lovely news. Mm. Isn't, isn't it amazing that you know we hear about the um, pregnancy of one of the Queen's grandchildren you know, via a podcast it just seems so. Well, it's just so very modern. Such a <laughs> time, it? it really is. And speaking of that, with you know, this is presumably they're all future subjects for your diary column. These endless grandchildren, and great grandchildren. A, a few years yet, but you know, <laughs> um, you'll still be there. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, with Zara and Mike, you know, it's tricky, isn't it? Because Zara is sort of not royal in the sense that she's um, never had a royal role. She's never had a HRH. Um, but then they still are because it's the Queen's granddaughter. So you can never really sort of escape the firm. And we're still fascinated to hear what they're up to and you know, what, what their children are doing.